Welcome back to today's video, where I will show you how to supercharge your productivity and organization by using Notion as your second brain. This powerful method involves breaking down your life into smaller, actionable steps, setting up a hierarchy of areas, goals, projects, and tasks, and collecting valuable resources and notes to help you achieve your goals and projects efficiently. Let's start with a basic understanding of the PARA method. This method is designed to help you categorize and prioritize your tasks and projects by placing them into four key categories, projects, areas, resources, and archive. Projects include the short-term outcomes you're actively working toward right now. For example, complete web page design, finish Spanish language course, launch crowdfunding campaign. Areas are what I'm committed to. Over time, it's something that we will have to think about and manage in one way or another. For as long as we live, it doesn't have a final objective. Resources are the things I want to reference in the future. For example, what topics are you interested in? Whether it is architecture, interior design, or English literature. The archives are an important part of Para Method because they allow you to place a folder in cold storage so that it doesn't clutter your workspace while safe keeping it forever just in case you need it. Let's continue with the hierarchy of areas, goals, project, and tasks to organize our life. At the top level, we have areas which can encompass individual tasks, projects without specific goals, and projects with clearly defined goals. Each area, goal, and project can be supplemented with relevant resources, notes, or events to aid in their execution. We can also add relevant notes and resources for each individual tasks. Any areas, projects, or goals that are currently inactive can be archived for future access when needed. To gain a deeper insight into how we can utilize the second brain template, let's go ahead and apply this example case to our second brain template. First, open our second brain template and go to the Areas section. Add a new area by clicking New button. Change the name to Home Improvement and upload area cover image. Next, create a new goal named Renovate Home Office inside the Home Improvement area. Set the goal deadline. Now open the goal page that we have created and create a new project named Redesign Home Office Space inside the goals page. Complete all necessary information. Next, create the tasks inside the project page. Great, we have structurized the information of our example case into the second brain template. Since our project status is still inbox, you can the project that we have created on the inbox section. To change the status of our project, you can simply drag and drop to the current status column. You will also see the task that we have created before on the task section. When you click the complete checkbox, you will see on the update of the project progress bar. On the left panel, the goal that we created before is shown here.
Next, for the case two, we have project and tasks but no goal. Let's try to implement it on our second brain template. Open our home improvement area and directly add new project. Next, open the project page and create the tasks. Fill the necessary information on the project page. This last case, we don't have goals and project, but directly some tasks inside the home improvement area. This is very easy. You can open the home improvement area and scroll down to the task area section and add the tasks there. Cool, we have structurized some information using para method. The inbox is like your digital catch-all area. It's the first stop for any information or ideas that pop into your mind. It's your central hub for capturing and processing everything resources, tasks, project concepts, and important notes. First, let's try to capture some interesting information such as article or YouTube video that we may need it later. There are two ways to capture resources. The first one is manually adding the resource and link. The second one can make our life easier by using Save to Notion browser extension. To save the resource, you just need to click the extension icon and save. The resource will be automatically added to our resource database. Next, let's add inbox for task. When a task or to-do item comes to mind, jot it down in the inbox. Later, you can categorize it and assign it to the right area or project for action. Project ideas can strike at any moment. Use the inbox to capture these concepts. Once you've refined the idea, you can transform it into a full-fledged project. Whether it's a brilliant idea, a snippet of valuable information, or a personal reflection, the inbox is the place to record it. Later, you can organize and categorize these notes. In the inbox section, you will also find the habit tracker. Here you can log and track your habit. To add a new habit, just simply add a checkbox property.
Let's access the events section of our second brain template. Once you're in the event section, adding a new event is a breeze. Simply click on the add event and fill the event detail. Notebooks are like organized folders and notes are your personal repository for ideas and knowledge. Let's start by creating a notebook. Notebooks help you categorize and organize your notes by topic or theme. Now that you have a notebook, let's populate it with notes. Since the notes status is still in box, it will not be shown on the notes section. When the status is draft or final, it will be shown on the notes section. Archiving helps keep your workspace organized while preserving valuable historical data. In this example, I will archive university area because I am no longer in college. The archived area is now gone from the dashboard. If you want to check your archived data, you can go to the archive menu. Do the same step to archive project and goals by clicking the archive checkbox. In this enhanced version of Second Brain Pro Plus, we've introduced additional key pages, including Finance Tracker Pro, Reading Tracker, Workout Tracker, and Habit Tracker. Let's start with the Finance Tracker Pro V1.2, a powerful tool for managing your finances. With this tool, you can track your income, expenses, and budget with precision. It provides insights into your financial health, helping you make informed decisions about your money. This reading tracker helps you keep tabs on your reading list, track your progress, and jot down insights from the books you've read. It's your personal library and reading companion. We have the Habit Tracker, a simple yet effective way to build and track positive habits. Use this page to plan your workouts, record your progress, and stay motivated. Whether you're into strength training, cardio, or yoga, the Workout Tracker keeps you on the path to your fitness goals. And that concludes our walkthrough of the second Brain Pro Plus template. With its versatile tools and organized structure, you're now equipped to take control of various aspects of your life. Until next time, stay organized, stay productive, and stay inspired on your journey to success. Thanks for watching.